Hi everyone, this is Mix from Sneaks and Ball PH, and today we have the full performance review on the Nike Zoom Freak 3. Before we get started, if you like the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Then if you have any comments, questions, or any suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below as well. Then I'll also leave a link to the SNBPH Sneaker Hunters Facebook group in the description box. So I do hope you can join us over there because that is a place where we talk about sneakers and basketball quite a bit. And it's also where we have the SNBPH Steel Cabinet where I take some shoes that I no longer use or some shoes that I've reviewed in the past and put them up for bidding at way below market value. Then if you haven't already, please do make sure to sub to the channel because it really does help us out quite a lot. So with that out of the way, let's get into the full performance review on the Nike Zoom Freak 3. The Zoom Freak 3 in my opinion just makes major improvements from the Zoom Freak 2 which was already a major upgrade from the Zoom Freak 1. It is definitely great that Nike has been putting a little bit more effort into his signature shoe because as we do know Giannis is a two-time NBA MVP and he just won the NBA Championship and NBA Finals MVP so I think Nike just putting their R&D and their effort into making the shoe better will go a long way because Giannis definitely looks like he's well on his way to becoming an all-time great. So now let's kick off the performance review with the traction. The traction on the Nike Zoom Freak 3 uses this sort of fingerprint or topographic map pattern which definitely looks really multi-directional and it does work really well on court. Not only does it have good bite and good stopping power but it is also multi-directional so whether you're doing quick stop and goes, quick pull ups or some Giannis like moves such as spin moves and euro steps you're gonna be fully covered by that really grippy traction. The traction on the Zoom Freak 3 is definitely one of the grippier ones we've had this year but in my opinion it does miss out from being a top tier traction just because there are some spots where it collects dust a little easier and the other minor issue I have with traction is that it doesn't really seem too durable. I did play with these just indoors and they look pretty fine but the grooves are pretty soft so there is a bit of wear on my outsole so I'm definitely thinking that the traction will be worn down a lot by playing outdoors. So overall for the traction I'm gonna have to give it an A. Like I said the outsole is super grippy and it has you covered whether you're moving front to back, side to side or anything in between but it just doesn't get an A plus for me because of some dust buildup and because of those durability issues. Then moving on to the cushion this is definitely the major upgrade from the Zoom Freak 2 and the Zoom Freak 1 because you do have a nice and soft full length injected file on midsole and two giant zoom pods here in the forefoot. Definitely feels super bouncy and responsive but it is also a lot more stable than you would expect because it does come out quite a bit here on the lateral side and you have this sort of plastic wing here on the side that keeps it under control as well. That definitely is the main highlight of the shoe but for the rest of the midsole it is just this soft phylon which does give you some underfoot comfort and some impact protection but I still wish they put some cushion or maybe some zoom air in the back just so that you have a little bit more cushion here at the heel. This is definitely more of a forefoot heavy shoe so if you're a player that really likes staying on their toes then this will definitely be a good cushion setup for you. However if you are one of those players that really lands on their heel quite a lot or if you're like a shooter that likes rolling into their stride from their heel to the forefoot then this might not be a perfect setup for you. So for the cushion on the Nike Zoom Freak 3 I'm gonna give it an A. The cushion on the forefoot is definitely amazing I mean it's super bouncy responsive and comfy but I did knock the shoe for not having that much cushion here at the heel. Then for the materials, the Nike Zoom Freak 3 does make use of some pretty basic materials. For the main body of the shoe, you do have this pretty thin foam back mesh and it feels pretty lightweight and actually moves well with your foot. That foam back mesh is also pretty comfy. However, my one issue is that the top mesh layer is super thin and it definitely feels like the more you wear these and the more games you play in them, there is a chance that it could fray or even rip. Then for the rest of the upper, you do have this synthetic leather that actually feels a little bit like vinyl. This is a bit of a thicker material and I think it adds a little bit more structure to the shoe and it also provides more support so you know even if it is a pretty cheap feeling vinyl or synthetic leather it actually gets the job done then for the other materials on the shoe you do have a midfoot strap that's made of tpu and it actually is pretty flexible 
flexible even though it looks chunky. And here at the back of the shoe you have a nice and padded neoprene sock liner and a well padded textile tongue as well. So overall for the materials, I'm gonna have to give the Nike Zoom Freak 3 a B plus. Like I said, the materials are pretty soft and pretty comfy, but they are definitely on the cheaper side, so I knock it down a point for that. And I just don't have that much faith in the mesh upper lasting a very long time, so I knock it down another point. Then moving on to the support, I do feel like the Zoom Freak 3 is adequate. However, I do have some issues with the support on the shoe. Before I get into my issues with the support, there are definitely a lot more positive things about it, just like the nice wide base here at the forefoot. The wide base and lateral outrigger do a good job on keeping you stable on side-to-side -side movements. So if you're like Yanis and you like making massive Euro steps, then this would be pretty good for you because it does decrease the risk of you landing awkwardly on the lateral side and twisting your ankle. And for the support features that help keep your foot on the foot bed at all times, you do have an internal TPU heel counter and a nice and sculpted phylon midsole. You also get some support from the vinyl or synthetic leather on the upper and since the materials fit around your foot well, you also aren't slipping and sliding in the shoe. Then like I said, I do have a few issues with the support on the shoe. So for the first one is that this strap is utterly useless in terms of support because they did stitch it here at the eye stay of the medial side and that doesn't really help with the support. So I think what they could have done to make this strap help with the support is attach it to the midsole just because that would kind of create like a wall here at the medial side just to contain your foot a little better. And for my last concern, it would be the torso support on the shoe. As you can see, the Zoom Freak 3 does have a decoupled midsole, but it only has a small torsion bar for torsional support. I personally didn't have too much of an issue unless I was playing for a long time, but I can definitely see this being a problem for some people who are a little bit heavier and also those who suffer from plantar fasciitis or other plantar related issues. So for the support, I'm gonna have to give it a B. You do have good support features on the shoe, but like I said, you do have some issues with the major one being that torsional support. Then for fit and lockdown, I did go through the size with the Zoom Freak. 3 and it fits me perfectly well. That upper is pretty soft and forgiving so it definitely doesn't need any break in time and it just really conforms around your foot. You also do have a traditional lacing system so that really locks you in and you also have some nice sculpting here at the back which really keeps your heel locked in. That tongue is also nice and padded so if you're the type of person who really cinches down their laces you'll be able to do so with this shoe. Then for the midfoot strap just like it doesn't help with the support on the shoe it also doesn't help with the overall fit and lockdown. It is made of TPU so you know you can stretch it out and kind of make it fit better around your foot. Then since I do have a high instep, it doesn't attach to the Velcro as cleanly as with others. So when I was playing, I definitely had that feeling that it could come off anytime. So for my recommendation on the sizing, whether you have a narrow foot, a normal width foot, or a wide foot, you can go through the size. Having materials this soft on the shoe definitely helps if you're a wide footer because it definitely will be able to stretch out a bit and accommodate your foot. So for fit and sizing, I'm gonna have to give the Zoom Freak 3 an A. It definitely fits really nice and it's also super accommodating so whether you have a narrow foot, a normal width foot, or a wide foot, you can pretty much go through the size but I do knock it one point because of that hella useless strap. Then for the aesthetics of the shoe, I do have to admit that the overall shape still looks kind of weird but I am super thankful that I was able to get the orange free colorway. In my opinion, this is so much better than that black colorway because for one, it has more color and second, you just have normal branding like you have the Nike swoosh, the freak logo and none of those really tacky logos on the other colorway with that lock and key looking thing because I never liked those logos on that colorway then and I still don't like them until now. Like I said, the shape of the shoe is super interesting. I mean, it kind of looks like a running shoe mixed with a basketball shoe but I do think it has a good mix of looking sleek while also being a little bit bulky. But I do think it has a good mix of looking pretty sleek while also being a little chunky here at the back. This isn't one of those shoes though that you can wear on and off the court. I think this is strictly an on-court option, but at least I think when you wear these on court, you'll definitely have some heads turning. So overall for the aesthetics, I'm gonna have to give it a B plus. I gave it a B plus because I do like the colorway and I also like how it looks a little bit sleek and bulky at the same time, but I don't like the overall shape of the shoe and I don't think it has off-court appeal, so I had to knock it down a few points. Then for the price, the Nike Zoom Freak 3 retails for 6,795 pesos here in the Philippines or 120 US dollars. There wasn't a price increase from the Zoom Freak 2 to the Zoom Freak 3, but there definitely was a major performance upgrade. I do think the Zoom Freak 3 is so much better than the Zoom Freak 2, and it's miles better than the Zoom Freak 1 as well. And at this price, I do think it's super competitive because it is one of the most affordable signature shoes, especially when we're talking about Nike. So for the price, given that at least for Nike, it's only more expensive than the Nike PG5, I'm gonna have to give it an A+. I mean, for 120 US dollars, you do get really good traction. Just, you know, make sure 
sure to wipe it every so often and make sure to just play indoors. And you have some really nice bouncy cushion, especially if you're a 4 foot heavy player. Pretty comfy, lightweight, and breathable materials. Really good fit in lockdown and adequate support. And a solid on court aesthetic as well, especially when you go for the right colorway. So if you were to ask me if I think you should get the Zoom Freak 3 over the Zoom Freak 2s and 1s which are on discount right now, I would still suggest getting the Zoom Freak 3 just because it is such a major upgrade from the two previous models. I did get my pair from the Nike app so you can get it over there or you could also go to the Nike website or any of your local Nike stores. Here in the Philippines, they're also available at Titan so you can go to your local Titan stores or you can go to the Titan website. So there you have it guys, that was my full performance review on the Nike Zoom Freak 3. Once again, if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and if you haven't already yet, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon for notifications. It would help us out a lot. Here at Sneaks and Ball, PH.